गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स ये स्टडे वी फिनिश्ड द डिस्कशन ऑफ क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ चैप्टर फाइव टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर सिक्स एंड the heading of the chapter is changes around us now students what are the main points that is discussed in this chapter that is various kinds of changes in that on what topics we will focus the first desirable change second undesirable change then reversible change then irreversible change and then physical and the chemical changes the heading is changes around us we observe various kinds of changes in our day to day life change of the season cooking of food resting of iron a baby growing to an adult and so many other changes also now all the first we will discuss desirable and the undesirable changes now what are desirable changes and what are undesirable changes the changes which are useful for us are desirable changes good morning good morning to all what changes are desirable changes that are useful for us are desirable and for example changing of milk into curd is desirable ripening of fruit is desirable and say germination of seed is desirable cooking of food is desirable in this way we can have so many examples that are the case of the desirable changes so students useful changes are desirable changes and i gave you some example as the name suggest and the changes which are not useful for us are undesirable like rusting of iron curdling curdling of milk rotting of ripen fruits these are the certain examples that comes under the category of undesirable changes so as the heading suggests useful changes desirable 
not useful changes or in other words harmful changes are undesirable like and now students all of you know we all are having risk at a time throughout the world of the corona virus because when it enters in our body it creates it generates very harmful changes sometimes that may lead lead to the death so change due to germs change due to corona virus in our body is not at all useful it is very very dangerous now student the same change behaves as useful as well as harmful means sometimes it acts like desirable and sometimes it is undesirable like take the example of fire take the example of fire we cook food by the heat energy generated from the fire at that time it is useful but the same fire can burn the houses and there will be loss of life and property then in that case that will be harmful what i mean to explain you people depending upon the situation the same change is desirable like when we cook food the heat energy from the burning of the fuel helps in cooking the food and at that time the change is desirable but when the same fuel burns the house then the damage produced by that fire is undesirable we can also take another example now when the water is flowing then that flow of water when used in hydel power plant it generates electricity and at that time the flow of water is useful for us but at the same time this flow of water is very dangerous at the time of flood because all of us are familiar with the loss generated by the flood nowadays our state is at a high risk of flood and we are also at high risk because some of you must have seen the situation of the river budhi gandak that is over flooded so these examples make us clear that changes produced by the same factor sometimes it is desirable sometimes it is undesirable and whether it is desirable or undesirable it depends upon the situation i think it's clear and now students we will see here and other changes also that are also desirable that is seed growing into tree that is a desirable change and the harmful effect of the harm undesirable change can be checked 
can be prevented if we know the cause like students rusting of iron is harmful change because the rust damages the objects and we know that the cause of rusting is nothing but the moist air or or in other words the oxygen and the moisture we can prevent rusting and all of you must have seen that how we protect our grill gates and other objects in our home made up of iron by applying a coat of paint over it after a regular interval of time because painting oiling greasing prevents the rusting now in the same case when we know that using contaminated and food water food and water we may suffer from so many air food borne water borne diseases then what to do at that time we avoid using unsafe food and water nowadays we know that uh there is a high risk of virus and that causes very deadly change in our body so we are using mask nowadays to check the harmful effect of the virus it means student what i mean to make you clear we are applying a coating of paint or oil or grease on the objects made up of iron to check rusting we are using nowadays mask so that we may not get infected by the deadly virus we always use try to use safe clean and hygienic food and use very neat and clean water it means we know the reason that if we don't use these we may suffer from the deadly diseases so these are the undesirable changes and now students this the now the second heading in your book is the fast and slow changes i think this change is clear to you fast changes and slow changes now students the changes that in fact what are fast changes and what are slow changes a change that occurs in a very short interval of time that is fast means changes occurring in a short interval of time are fast changes as the name suggest fast fast change means in a very short interval of time if there is change then that kind of change is fast change now the examples from our day to day life convinces us like burning of paper is a fast change burning of paper is a fast change because 
it occurs in very small interval of time very short interval of time explosion of fire cracker explosion of fire cracker is the example of fast change because time required here is very short very short interval of time we see these changes paper burns in very short interval of time the ex fire cracker explodes in a very short interval of time then these are the examples of fast changes now the next change is slow obviously as we defined fast changes we have to just remove one or two words from the definition and we get the definition of the slow changes now see the changes that occurs or that takes longer period of time to complete or that changes that occurs in longer period of time is slow change changes that occurs in a longer period of time or that take the changes that take longer period of time to be completed then that is a slow change again we will take some examples from our day to day life of the slow change like ripening of fruit it is a slow change uh milk changing to curd again it is slow change and uh, other example say a small kid a baby growing to an adult a seed growing to a tree these are the certain examples now again the change of season that is also the example of slow change now student in the nature we have some very very slow changes and what changes are very very slow that is say the formation of coal it takes thousands and thousands of year in the formation of a coal and like the same way the formation of soil formation of rocks mountains and obviously the petroleum these are the very slow changes going on in nature continuously so how is the slow change different from fast one only the time period only the time period that is taken to be complete the change like in the fast change the time period is very short in the slow change the time period is much more as we have seen in the examples so i think student now it's clear to you what changes are fast and what changes are slow and now reversible and irreversible changes reversible changes and irreversible changes now student 
द डेफिनेशन इज वेरी क्लियर फ्रॉम द हेडिंग चेंजेस दैट इन विच द सब्सटेंसेस कैन बी ऑप्टेन्ड इन द ओरिजिनल स्टेट अगेन और चेंजेस विच कैन बी रिवर्स्ड टू देयर ओरिजिनल कंडीशन ऑबियस रिवर्सेबल मीन्स दैट कैन बी रिवर्स्ड सपोज वी कैन टेक द एग्जाम्पल of melting of ice all of you know ice is the solid state of water when we take out from the freezer the ice cubes are in the solid state when we put it in a, a plate after some time the solid state here changing to liquid state why because the temperature outside the freeze is much more than the inside the freezer and due to which the solid state of water changes to liquid state is this can we reverse the change obviously yes if we put that liquid state of water which we have uh, we are having that in a bowl or in a plate if we put that bowl or the plate inside the freezer after some time we see that that changes to solid state then what kind of change it, it is reversible change because obviously students when we talk of reversible change then actually the change in which the property of the substance does not change the original property if i say property it means the chemical property what is changing here the shape is changing the state is changing and that is the physical property so what are reversible changes changes that can be reversed are reversible changes just now i gave you the example of change of ice into water here the solid state is changing to the liquid state so here the physical state is changing solid to liquid if we take out the ice cubes from the freezer and if we put the water in the freezer again the liquid state changing into the solid state remember here the property is not changing if we see ice its chemical property does not change ice is also h2o the liquid state water is also h2o so there no new substances is formed during this change we can also have some more examples like melting of wax when we melt wax wax at room temperature exists in solid state when it is slowly heated when it is slowly heated it is changing to liquid state and when we allow the liquid wax to cool it again changes to solid state then what kind of change it is obviously it is a reversible change because the original state of wax that is the solid is obtained when the liquid wax cools now again we take the example of say melting of butter that is also an example of reversible change now student 
there is one very good diagram in your book and that is of the water cycle water cycle now there is a cycle of water in the nature now what happens now suppose see there is say yeah, this is a uh, water storage or pond of water having water in it when the sun's heat sun rays falls on it when the sun rays of falls on it the water gets heated and it changes to due to heating the water the liquid state changes to vapor state and the water vapor is formed and when this water vapor further cools it changes to form cloud now see how is cloud formed by the evaporation of the water vapor from the various water sources now say this is a river one of the water source that is river when the sun rays falls on it the water in the river gets heated and evaporate and goes to the higher altitude as the water vapor goes to the higher altitude it cools and the condensation takes place and there is formation of cloud so what is this this is evaporation okay when the clouds further cools the water droplets becomes bigger in size bigger in size then it falls down to the earth in the form of rain now here what happens the condensation condensation now in a very short what happens actually in the water cycle due to the heat of the sun water of the various sources i have just mentioned here river it may be pond lake ocean etc the water gets heated and in the previous chapter you studied heating changes liquid into vapor state the water from the various sources evaporates and as it moves to the higher altitude they become cooler and cooler and as a result of which the condensation takes place and the cloud formation is there and when the clouds condense again or there is further condensation in the cloud the small droplets become bigger and in that case they fall down in the form of rain so in a this is water cycle the water evaporated condensed and fall to the earth and this cycle continues continues so what this cycle is this cycle is reversible this this change in fact water cycle is actually a reversible cycle here you see the water again reversed to the river by the condensation in the cloud and falling down to the earth in the form of rain drop so reversible change i think it's clear to you students now what are reversible changes changes which can be reversed to their original form are called reversible changes and i gave you some examples of say melting of ice melting of wax melting of uh, butter and the water cycle that is involving the reversible changes now we have to switch over to the irreversible changes okay now one one thing i left that is some reversible changes are useful some reversible changes are useful metals are existing in the solid state we know metals are existing in the solid state metals are existing in the solid state uh we use a lot of uh useful things yeah we have a lot of useful things in our day to day life that are made up of metals then what i mean to say 
the metals are heated melted molded and then after cooling we get the various useful things like the utensils that we are using at our home the wire and the objects made up of metals how do we get by melting and putting them into the suitable molds and allowing them to cool and getting the uh, useful materials so melting of metal molding into the suitable shapes is the useful and when we melt the metal there is no in fact the object is just changing the shape and the property is not at all changing here and the second thing is here is the irreversible changes now the name suggest as the name is suggesting here changes which cannot be reversed can we get milk from curd no can we get uh, the wheat flour from the cooked chapati no can we get iron from the rust no can we get paper from the burnt ashes no so changes in which the materials cannot be reversed to their original condition original state are irreversible changes and when the irreversible changes goes on that change is chemical change the materials that we get after change has totally different property than the original state we have again students so many examples and i already told you the examples that we take are from our day to day life are very convincing like a seed growing to a tree can we get seed again returned from the tree no a baby growing to an adult all these changes are the reversible changes so student i hope uh, what we what changes we studied today we studied in fact the desirable and the undesirable changes fast and slow changes reversible and irreversible changes and student i hope you followed this rest of the rest portion of the chapter we will discuss tomorrow now that's all thank you